Good morning everyone. It's a beautiful day in May. Let me just get this car back on the road. Had a stop, but that's a whole new story. I'm driving and it's 8.30, 8.22 to be exact in the morning. Yeah, today is shopping, spending day. I love spending days because it makes me feel like a human. But it's not spending days on clothes, on anything stupid, except if I really love it. And But it's mostly groceries for the store and for us to eat. So we'll see in a little while where I'm going to go shopping and what am I going to buy. First thing I'm doing is taking a detour because I have to put LPG gas in my car and it's a 10 minute drive, 10 minute detour to get there and 10 minute back so, but it is more economical. So first stop of the day, let's get some LPG gas. And it's cold today, freezing cold. Sorry that I can't post on time <laughs> because as you can see my life is kind of hectic. So let me just take the detour driving in this little 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 roads and I'll tell you where I'm going soon. Okay, figured out a way so you guys can see too. Look at the scenery. That was very stupid of me this morning, not figuring figuring out that I could put it backwards. There was some amazing scenery on the road. Well, I'm sorry. But enjoy the rest. On the way home, I'll show you most of the road so you guys can actually see it. See, I'm going up in the mountains <laughs> just to get some LPG gas, fuel, whatever. Okay, it's 9.10 and I just made it to Lidl. We'll see what they have inside because I need a lot of things today. It's the cheapest store I can find around here and I've been driving like I left the house at 8.05. Took the little one to school, was driving at 8.22 when I posted the first video and now stopped for LPG and now I'm here. <clears throat> I think I'm getting a th sore throat. Can you see today? It's freezing. Let's go inside. Okay, just got out of Lidl. Well, all their specials and I paid only 81. Look. Look at how many things. They were all on special. Got everything in car from the first store. See that pork was on special so I got a lot. Like two humongous packs, that's like two and a half kilos each. I just want five pounders. The chickens was on special. I was thinking of getting four beans but I got two. But the milk, I couldn't show you guys. They were on special but I didn't pay for bags, remember? I bring my own bags. Time to bring the carriage back. And continue shopping okay that was really heavy 81 euros worth of pork on seta that's what they call it here chicken thighs to make for the store even the pasta is for the store we're gonna have some too sugar the milks I'm gonna need all summer I hope these can last at least until July before I pay them regular price they were like half price it's like buying two 
12 and 12 24 and getting the other 24 free if I was paying regular price. So it was worth all the drive. Now I'm going to Galaxia, that's in Stea, because I'm up here anyways. And now there's no more specials. But let me do, show you guys. Everything was written down, like every single thing from Lidl that I had to buy that I was on special. People look at me like an idiot because I was walking around with my humongous book open, reading it. At the same time, little papers from the store. Just making sure that anything that I had in Galaxia's list wasn't on special in Lidl. Yeah, I did feel like an idiot. But at least I saved money. Yeah, I did save money. A lot of it. Now, the expensive part, because it may be store brand. What is expensive? Store brand. When I go to Galaxy, I'm going to buy like, tomatoes and stuff that are store brand. Like the bags I'm saying, I bring my own. So I'm not going to pay 9, 10 cents a bag. That 1 euro is going to save me a lot of money. And I'm going to give it to my employee. Yeah, it's like... Everybody's paying their employee uh, one and a half to two euros an hour. I give mine two and a half. Even if she's not worth it, I really don't care because she helps me out. See you guys in a few seconds. Okay, just made it to the second supermarket. But before I go in, sorry because I'm not looking at you guys. I'm going to write what I spent. Remember, I, have to, I always write everything down. In a humongous book, what I earned, what I spent every day, like every penny. So, I spent, where am I? Lidl. 81. See, so when I get home, I can actually remember it and post everything down. Then I want to take a fast look at what I want to shop. My actual list for Galaxia. No oh God, where those little things go? here so we're going in and I just remember that there's a flea market today to get some vegetables like actual fresh fruit and vegetables this I don't need it was from Lidl right because I got most of my meat we're racing oh, I just need this side <sighs> let's see I have written it down here Planning. It's all about planning. Yeah, it is written down. So I need this. If you've planned everything, exactly what you have in your cupboards. Like this list here has exactly what my cupboard has. So it's tuna zero. Uh, Coca set tomato the bits uh, store brand zero. Evapore milk zero. Tomato paste, like, I had two, then I switched it to one, because one's in the refrigerator already open, one's in the cupboard. Can you guys see this? And that's off what I made my list, just to make sure I'm bringing both papers in the store. I'm going to Galaxias Istea. This would probably help Greeks more than people in the U.S., but if I could figure out a way to save in Greece, which there's no coupons or when there's coupons they're worthless i think people in the u.s can save too and i'm not just shopping for home i'm shopping for my home my store and everything and also doing the 365 days of frugal living my life and everything in between my nerdy life let's go into galaxias i don't know if i'm gonna actually or i might just film a little bit like little bits and pieces like i did in lidl but I just had to show you guys the milk and little. Like 777 or was it? Seven? Yeah, 777 or was it 770? Well, anyways, either way, it was worth it. Yeah, it's 770. <laughs> I read written down the price. It was worth it. Like 12 milks, 770? Yes. Yeah, okay, I overdid it. I got 48. But who cares? I'll enjoy them. They'll be gone in about a month and a half. And they go bad in 2020. So let's go into Galaxia. But what I did, I forget to tell you guys before I go into Galaxia. 
Of course, I'm going to be thirsty and tired. I'm going to need coffee. There are days I actually don't mind paying $150 or 2 to get a warm coffee. Those are the days that I'm running really late and running like a nut. When you go to sleep at 2 o'clock in the morning and 2.30, you can't wake up early. Or there are days that I go to English school and I'm running for it just to make it on time. I don't even have 30 seconds to make a coffee. The day I did, another 150 saved. Mm -hmm. Look at the difference in coffees. Store brand, regular and special. Regular price, store brand price. The same thing but on special. And store brand. It's recording. It's recording backwards. Okay, this was like, see, almost everything is store brand, and it was 56. The carriage and leader was humongous. This one's a small one. I don't even know what time it is. Let me just check if I can check at the same time, and I can't. I'm exhausted. It's 10.31. I finished most of my shopping. And there's a flea market where I could get vegetables really cheap, but it's kind of raining. And I'm tired. Just pay one and one or two euros more. Maybe it's worth it. <laughs> no, it's not because I do have some vegetables at home. I want to get, they're in the store because remember we eat drink everything in the store now it's been out three weeks at least maybe before that we're eating in the store so this was like the little things the store needs like i don't need a a can that's two kilos of tuna to buy like a professional one because i only use like a half of the little cans a week for a salad or a pizza so it's not gonna be worth it then the canned milk I don't need a can of milk that's two liters. I needed one that was like a half, a half a liter. So those little things, I come and shop myself, and the rest I buy. Well, I'm on the opposite side of the road, but here's the view that I promised. Look, I'm driving beside the sea. Now I'm going to my house. Yep, my house. You know, it's shaking, but I can't do anything. This is the new road they made us. Yes, for the new road. It's a little bit bigger. It fits actually two cars. As you can see, I see mountain. And then the other side, because it's backwards, and I'm not holding my cell phone as I'm driving. It's on the stand, and I hope it doesn't fall, because this stand isn't like the other one. You can see the sea. Can you guys see the sea? Look, mountain and sea. I'm between both. Thank you, government, for giving us the new road. This is my village. At last, my village. I'll just let the rest record. Till the cell phone falls down.
Look at all those olive trees. I don't know if you guys can actually see them. Yaltron. That's me. Under, under, under. in front of us ocean and well the sea the ocean and the sky are like one it's one color sorry there's bumps in the road can't do anything and my stand is shaking but hope you're enjoying it I'm giving to my son to say hi. He's a construction worker. And he's working. Yep, the road right beside the sea. And I'm almost, almost, almost home. My store is at the bottom and my house is on top, so we're here, we're home. Yeah, my store and my house, can you guys see it? Yep, you can. That's it for now. I'm calling my employee out to help me carry the groceries. Okay, I think I'm on a streak. Yeah, I did buy vegetables. I bought the milk, but I got free fish today from a friend. Yeah, free fish. So for lunch, I'm frying them fish. I'm also cooking in the back. Frying them fish. My mom got me these little things. They're called yaparaita. It's rice with uh, herbs and leaves from... Uh, from vines. So it's free again. Yes, free lunch. Without selling a serving. Like I said, I went shopping, bought a lot of things. And what am I having for lunch? I don't eat fish. Leftover moussaka. Don't you love leftovers? I do. Hope you guys enjoyed the view. I know it's going to be a long video, but just the view is worth it. Let's see how tomorrow's dish is going to go. It's easy. It's chicken in the oven with potatoes. It's the simplest dish. I'll even give you the recipe. And is the day over? No, it's not. It's not even 2 o'clock at lunchtime. Mm -hmm. 